Hello there, everyone, and welcome back. Um, if you're brand new here, I want to give you a nice warm welcome. My name is Danielle Rochford, and I am an online teacher in Alberta, Canada. I teach grade seven and eight students. Um, today, I am continuing the video series on Google Classroom for Teachers, um, how we take a look at uh, the different ways that we can use Google Classroom um, to help teach our students. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how we can add students and co-teachers to our Google Classroom. Now, before we dive right into the computer, um, let me tell you that you are able to catch up on this series if you're sort of jumping in midway. Um, so I will provide a link in the description box below and hopefully a card up in the, uh, the video screen here for you to be able to find it nice and easy. I have the playlist going of how to teach with Google Classroom. All right, let's take a look at how we can add students and co-teachers. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're obviously going to log into our Google Classroom. Um, and at this point, we do have um, a class that is set up. All right, and so we're going to access that class right from our Google Classroom dashboard. There we go, we just click on it. Um, in order to add people, we're gonna start with some students here. Uh, we need to go to the People tab. Now you'll notice that um, on the people tab, it is divided up into two separate sections. There is a section here that shows the teachers of the class. Um, and there's also a section here that identifies the students that are in the class. We're gonna start by adding a few students. All right, so there's a couple of ways that you can do this. Um, the way that I like to do it with my junior high students uh, is I like to specifically add them uh, by sending them an invitation. So you can do that by clicking on uh, the little um, icon here and you'll notice it says invite students. If we click on that, we can type in um, a name or an email. Okay, so I'm going to type in an email here. There we go. And I'm going to send an invitation. And so once the invitation has been sent, the student that you have invited will show up on your list of students here with an invited um, text beside it. So you know that this person has been invited. Um, but it's also sort of grayed out there. So it's not very, it's not nice and bold, like for example, up here where I have uh, my name as the teacher, okay? So that means that person has not joined the class yet, okay? Now, while we're waiting for that student to join, um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to demonstrate the student view of this, okay? Um, so this invitation has been sent to um, a, uh, a, a student here, and I'm going to uh, bring up the student view um, and go to um, email notifications. So we log into Gmail. You'll notice that um, this student has received an email from Rochford On Demand letting them know that they have been invited to a class, and it outlines um, what class the student was invited to and the option for joining. Okay, and so right from their email, um, they can click on join. Now there's another way that you can invite students and that is by providing for them the class code. So if we take a look here, I'm gonna bring you back to the stream here, you'll notice that there's a class code um, that is um, posted right there for you. Okay, so that would be the class code that you would give students to be able to join your class. The other place that you can find this, you can also go to the settings tab and in the general section, you can see the class code. Uh, it gives you a opportunity to just copy it, okay? Or you can also reset it or disable it, okay? And we go through that in um, the first video in our Google Classroom series. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to um, copy this code and we are going to um, take a look at um, the student view of, um, of joining the class using this code. All right, so here we have a, a student account, have not joined any classes yet. 
Um, and so we are going to join the class that we have created. We do that by uh, clicking the plus button and choosing join class. When we do that, it gives us a chance for putting in the class code, which we can access right there and click join. And now we have a student that has joined this class. So now when we go back to our uh, teacher view of things, we can go to people and we'll notice here that we now have an active student that has joined the class. Notice the difference between um, the, uh, the darker print for this student versus the lighter print here for this one that's still invited but has not joined the class yet. Now in a similar way, we are also able to add co-teachers. Right, so if we go to our, once again, on our people tab here, um, this time under the teacher section, um, we click over the icon there with the plus sign. Um, it says invite teachers. All right. Um, and, and so here you can put in a name or an email and information from your contacts will pop up. Okay, um, and you can invite them the same way that we demonstrated with uh, the first student. Okay, now when you add a teacher, teachers are able to do all the same things that you can um, on your Google Classroom. Okay, the only exception to that is that they cannot delete the class. Okay, but everything else they can make posts, they can uh, communicate back and forth with students, um, and they can grade the same way that you would be able to give feedback, all of those different kinds of things. Um, they have full access to your Google Classroom, they just can't delete the class. As the owner, you are the only one that's able to delete the class. Well, now that we have some students in our class, the next video, we're going to take a look at providing some assignments for them. So we're going to take a look at the different types of assignments um, and how we can post them and how students can access them. All right. So I hope to see you in the next video. Um, please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so that you will be notified the next time a video goes live. Have a great day, everyone.